Hey, what's up guys? Rob here. Welcome back to another horror collection video, basically where I take a horror series and talk about every single movie within that series. And today, we are going to tackle the Hostel films. Currently, there are three movies in the series. Here we have the very first one, written and directed by Eli Roth. Pretty good horror director. Um, my favorite film from him would be Cabin Fever. Um, but this one is not terrible. I just think it's okay, uh, to be honest. It says Quentin Tarantino presents. This is the unrated widescreen cut. The scariest movie in a decade? Uh, no. There's nothing really scary about this film. Um, is it disturbing? Yeah, it can be. Uh, a lot of people will say it's torture porn. Uh, there's a lot of nudity, sex, and um, gore. Torture. So, I guess you could call it that. I like Jay Hernandez uh, as an actor. The, I want to say, last 30 minutes of the film really gets you on the edge of your seat because you really feel for uh, Jay Hernandez's character um, when he has to escape the factory. Uh, that was, you know, like my favorite part of the movie. But yeah, um, Hostel. Hostel Part 2. Unrated director's cut. Um, also written and directed by Eli Roth, as you can see right here. Uh, certified by Elite Hunting, which is basically the group that... Um, you know, takes money from rich people so they can kill anybody they want in different ways. Part of some kind of organization. After re-watching <clears throat> these films, I have to say that I enjoyed this one more than the first one. And the reason is, is because they focus on the killer's point of view. These rich people who have nothing to do, they're bored. They basically pay... Um, a lump sum of money and they actually you know go to this factory which is seen in this film but you don't really get to learn that much about the killers point of view you don't really get to learn as you know, that much about the organization from here you just get bits and pieces but in this movie you kind of go behind the scenes of these guys and yeah these rich people pay money to kill other people in different ways slowly fast with different weapons and stuff like that um, so you kind of get um, you know a little bit of backstory plus they focus on a couple of characters who are part of this organization and you um, see what their home life is like and the reason why they're doing this and then um, because you know in this film or the first one it was is focusing on three guys who were backpacking across Europe and then this movie focuses on three girls. So they kind of switch the tone. Uh, and the girls basically fall victims to the killers. Um, but I just, you know, I like the story in this one. I like how they focused on the elite hunting group and, and uh, kind of show you what it's about. And stuff like that. There's a bunch of special features. Look at all those features on here. Um, you know, deleted scenes, commentary with Eli Roth, which I haven't uh, listened to yet. But yeah, Hostel Part 2. We have Hostel Part 3, unrated, uh, which is a completely different film. It was not directed by Eli Roth. I think it was Scott Spiegel who directed this takes place in Vegas, but it still deals with the elite hunting group. Some of the kills were, were good, but as a movie, like as a whole, it just was not very good. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. Um, 
one of the guys, uh, I believe, uh, Kip Pardue, that's one of the main stars in this. Um, but they're attending, you know, these guys are attending a uh, bachelor party in Vegas. Um, instead of three friends, there's four friends. Um, they go to a private party off the strip, and then they find themselves, you know, uh, in a game of torture. So, yeah, there's just, it, I mean, you know, they tried to stay the same, yet do something different. You know, they tried to stay the same with the torture, um, you know, with the elite hunting group, and then do something different by having it in Vegas instead of um, Europe. So, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy it as much as the other films, at least. I would just have to say that my favorite is the second movie. So, not really a lot to say about that one. But I guess you could say that the hostile films are, you know, one of a kind when it comes to gory films. You know, like how Saw is with uh, traps and gore and blood and stuff like that. Um, it's it's kind of like these films. Instead of traps, it's just torture stuff. Um, but anyway, that is the hostile films. Tell me what you think in the comments of these films and what your opinions are on them. But anyway, yeah, stay tuned for more of these. Uh, hope you enjoy. This is Rob. Uh, thanks for watching. Signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.